welcome back to my channel. So I am out. Um, just me and Sky right now. Uh, just thought I'd take her for a quick walk. Um, like I said, it's just us two this morning. It's about nine-ish, maybe a little bit after that. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's between nine and 10, I, I don't remember. So it was just us this morning. My um, husband and my oldest daughter are actually at the specialist with Cookie, my Siberian Husky. And um, yeah, so she's seeing the specialist right now. Um, we got results from the biopsy back on Friday and it wasn't what we wanted to hear. Um, she does have cancer. It's in the right nostril. And from what I understand, it's not very good. Um, so with going to the specialist, we're gonna know some options. They're gonna give us some options of what we're gonna be able to do next. And, let's see what we can do to keep her comfortable and hopefully have her here longer so like I said definitely not what we wanted to hear um, so I have mixed emotions I know she I, you know I understand that she's an older dog but it doesn't change the fact that we still want her here longer so I don't know what to think. I don't know. You know, we're just trying to spend extra time with her. You know, we spend a lot of time with the dogs anyway, you know, already. But, you know, we're just trying to... Where are you going, Cookie? Or Sky? Um, spend some extra time with both dogs. Um, usually when we take them for a walk, we have them both. But... Um, Instead of just waiting around at the house, I decided to just take Sky. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Like I said, definitely not what we wanted to hear. But, we're gonna do what we can. We're gonna do what's best for her. Hopefully it's the right thing. But, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. Just waiting for my husband to come back or for me to hear from him. Um, my daughter's been texting me, keeping me updated about, you know, what they're doing. Not what they're doing, but like um, how quick they are, actually. They've been, ew, there's vultures. Um, so far, they're pretty quick. Uh, they got there and took her in right away and at all her vitals and all that stuff pretty quickly so just gonna come on no you can't chase them um gonna wait and see what he says and what our options are and everything and it's crazy because cookie has been doing so good she's been eating sleeping you know sniffing around running around playing with her babies and like she's been so happy and uh, I wish that meant she was better. It's just crazy. She is super strong. So I'm just hoping that the cancer didn't spread anywhere else. And hopefully we can maybe get it removed or something. I don't know. I'm just hopeful. And uh, like I said, hopefully we can have her for couple more years at least um, I'm just not ready so I don't know just wanted to give you guys a quick update so it is actually the next day um, we got a little bit more information not much but a little bit more information about cookie it's a little frustrating because our vet had told us um, well didn't tell us the right information and we ended up getting an x-ray first, but if we would have known the information beforehand, um, we would have gotten the scans done first, the CAT scans. 
so now after taking Cookie to the specialist, we um, need to get a CAT scan done, which if we would have known, we would have gotten that done in the first place. But um, the vet from the specialist um, will be able to tell us um, a lot more information of exactly where the tumor is uh, that we just know it's in her right nostril and um, they need to know like how far up how close to uh, excuse my nails um, I'm gonna actually let my nails rest a little bit um, because I took my other nails off and my nails um, aren't in good shape so I'm gonna let them have a rest for a little bit so you might be seeing these uh, short nails for a little bit but anyway um, the vet will be able to see how far up, um, if it's got into like her lungs and, and anything. So we have to do that, which I feel like is a setback. But um, they said to continue doing what we're doing, continue giving her the herb medication that we've been giving her since it's been helping so much. They gave us another prescription for it and um, you know, to continue giving uh, her that medication, her regular medications, um, since she's been doing so well. So, if we do, which we don't know if we're going to or not, depending on how bad the cancer is or it has spread, um, and if even chemo is going to even help, um, we'll have to make that decision when um, we get the scans done, which won't be in a which won't be for a few weeks. So, yeah, that's where we at. We did, you know, that's where we're at right now. We didn't get uh, too much information, um, but they did get, you know, everything that they needed out of the x-ray that they could see. But um, with the scans, um, the CAT scan, they'll be able to tell us more, so. But right now she's doing good. She's like I said before, she's eating, she's drinking, she's sleeping really well. We're gonna continue uh, giving her her, you know, that natural herb medication because it is definitely helping. I know it is. It's like I said, uh, she hasn't had a nosebleed in about a week, so which is really really good and really helpful. So that's about it. That's the update that we have. Um, I probably won't have an update for a while because we still have to have the scans done and stuff. So, yeah. Um, the, our, our vet had told us that depending on how bad the tumor is, we could have, you know, within the next two months, you know, it could be too much for her. But this other um, vet said... Um, I don't know if he said uh, with the treatment or without treatment, we have from um, six months to three years. So I really hope it's the three years. I, I feel like we need a little bit more time with her. But if it's her time, I'm really sad, but um, I don't want her to suffer. I, I don't want to keep her here just to benefit us. I wanna make sure she's comfortable. I wanna make sure she's happy. So, but like I said, that's all the information that we have for now. It's not much information, which is a little frustrating. Like I said, if we would have gotten the scans done before this appointment, uh, the vet could have told us so much more. But it's okay. Like I said, as long as she's doing really well, she's comfortable and happy, then that's all that matters. But that's all the information I have. And my daughter just pulled up. Uh, her bus just got here. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.